I would still say uh, China and Southeast Asia are the two key markets. I still think in terms of absolute return, uh, we still think that China is, is, is one of the top pick uh, 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 for this year and next year. Uh, given its uh, GDP growth potential, uh, even though this is slowing down the growth rate, but still it's, um, it's a higher potential in terms of absolute return. And uh, the current Chinese reform after the, the CCPC's uh, 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 annual conference last year, it has been, uh, uh, could be a st another round of a reform in economic uh, uh, and uh, could be uh, uh, another round of uh, a stimulus, in uh, not financial stimulus, but uh, a political stimulus in China. So I think an, an interesting market that we're focused on now is China. Clearly, you know, China has attracted a lot of capital over the years, but if you look at where China is today, the public equity valuations have come down quite significantly. There is less capital available uh, within the GP community because fundraising has slowed down quite significantly. So we actually think that this is a very interesting time to invest in China given those dynamics. So we are bullish on China. We think that the overall market has improved. We think that the some of the structural challenges that existed before with regards to investing in transactions but also then exiting out of those investments have disappeared or certainly have been reduced. So we uh, think China is going to be a very interesting market to invest. I'd say the Chinese market is the one we're probably most bullish about going into 2014. Um, the uh, the market's less competitive today than it was two years ago, prices are more reasonable, and the RMB competition seems to have moderated a bit. Um, the other market we're quite interested in and focused on uh, in this year is in J the Japanese market. Um, it's a cheap market, relatively speaking, for valuations, and uh, the competition, although it's rising, is still quite moderate, and uh, the macro environment seems to be improving as well.